Hey guys, so I'm back with another speed editing tutorial in Photoshop and this time I thought I'd do something a little bit different and talk over my speed editing rather than just putting music over the top of it so you can sort of understand a little bit more of what I'm doing. So today I'm going to transform this landscape photo I took in Yosemite during the day and turn it into a nighttime scene with stars and more of a dusk twilight kind of surreal feel to it. I start by cropping the original landscape into a square because that's the composition I want to work with. I then take another image I took in Yosemite of the stars and position it on top of my original photo. Then with a layer mask, I start cutting out the landscape so the stars fit seamlessly. I use a small soft brush at opacity 100 as I am making a clean cut of the landscape and not blending it in. As you can see, I use small jagged brush strokes to make the mask look more natural on the landscape. Now, the original landscape was taken during the day, so the lighting is a bit too bright to fit in with the stars, so I'm going to use the burn tool at a low opacity of 20% and start layering with the brush on the very far section of the landscape to make it darker. I always do this on a separate layer, so when areas of the image, such as the rocks in this case, start becoming too dark, I can use a layer mask to blend them back to a lighter color. Once I'm finished with the burn tool, I use the lasso tool to select sections of the image. I feather the selection by about 200 so it doesn't have any harsh edges. And with the curve tool, I adjust the tone and color. So first I start working on the landscape part of the image. Then I work a little bit on the tree section of the image and finally the sky. After working on all these separate parts, I finish off the tone and color grading by using one final curve on the entire image. By doing this, it ties in all the elements of the photo together to make it look like one finished photo. I add one final touch with some white light leaks. I do this by using the circle gradient tool in Photoshop and dragging out the gradient over particular parts of my image. So I do one from the right hand side of my image and one from sort of like the top left corner. I then change the layer blend mode to soften and bring down the opacity until it blends in. I then use the reflective gradient over the horizon of the landscape to add what looks like a little bit of fog to make the final image look more surreal. I used a layer mask with a big soft brush to paint the fog out of the half dome and bring more attention to it. And that's pretty much my whole process for this photo. I hope you enjoyed this video and here is the before and after of the final photo.